In this demo, we will create a route-based VPN gateway using the Azure portal. In order to create the resources, we click on Create a Resource and search the marketplace for a virtual network. The virtual network is required for the virtual network gateway to exist. Select Virtual Network and click Create. In the Basic tab for Resource Group, we'll create a new one that we will name Contoso Resource Group. Click OK. In the Instance Detail is the name of the virtual network that we want to create. In our case, Contoso VPN 1. In the ad IP Address tab, we'll keep the default address space, but remove the default subnet and add one of our own with the name Front End and an address range of 10.1.0.0 slash 24 and click Add. In the next section, which is the Security tab, we will leave the DDoS protection and firewall as default. We won't add any tabs. We'll review and create our resource and submit the deployment. Once the deployment is completed in our environment, we can go to the resource group and add the resource that we want to add, which is a net virtual network gateway. Select it from the marketplace and click create. In our environment, we will give it a name. So Contoso VPN Gateway, a region, a type, which is either a VPN or express route, a type, which is route based or policy based, in our case, route based, a SKU, which is the size uh, that we want our VPN gateway to have, which generation, so we'll leave that as default, and select the virtual network that we've already pre created, so Contoso VPN 1. It'll automatically create a subnet address range based on the address range of the virtual network. We will create a new public address space, a public IP address for our VPN gateway. And we will keep the rest of the settings as default and click create. It will initialize and start the deployment of the resource and this can take up to 25 to 30 minutes so I've sped up the video in order to get this done as soon as possible. Once it's created we can navigate to the resource group that is currently holding all of the resources that we've created so the virtual network and the virtual network gateway and see that in our virtual network we now have a connected device called Contoso VPN Gateway that is configured as with the right SKU, the right type, the, as a route-based virtual network gateway with the public IP address associated with it. And all we have left to do is configure the user VPN configuration. 